Erin and Katie, and today I'm going to be showing you a really fun edgy boho braid. How that works is pretty simple. You just combine both elements into one and you come up with something that looks really great for the summer. And it's also versatile. I'm going to show you two different ways to wear this. So the key with this hairstyle is precision and that's why I have a rat tail comb here. We're going to be sectioning off the hair and it needs to be absolutely straight. So have a steady hand for this and a little bit of patience because sectioning it off is really what takes the most time. Once I have the top section I want, I'm going to secure the bottom section out of the way and we're going to start by paneling off our sections. Usually you can go straight down the middle and landmark your sections that way, but this time I'm going to have a section resting right over the center. So the center of your hair just on either side, that's going to be a little bit of a panel, but not a center parting. We're going to have a total of five panels, so two on each side and one in the middle if you want to think about it that way. And find a way to secure what panels you're not working on out of the way. I didn't have clips here, so I'm just making do. And now we're going to do some fine braiding. This is a Dutch braid, so our strands are going under. And if you've seen any of my Viking braid tutorials, this is pretty much the same exact technique that we're using. We're getting very tiny little pieces each time and slowly incorporating them into the Dutch braid. If this is easier for you to do on wet hair, you can do this on wet hair, or you can mist each section individually and work with it that way. That'll also nail down any flyaways that tend to happen. So here's a better close up so you can see how I'm doing this. I'm going to incorporate all the hair all the way back into the section that we parted out and braid all the way down and tie off with an elastic. And we're gonna do the same thing with every single section until we have five sections. And now what you're gonna do is take the two outer sections and we're gonna wrap them around the head. Now you can wrap these as tightly or as loosely as you'd like to get the desired effect. So it can be further down in the front like this, or it can be right at the hairline. The nice thing about that is you can decide what personally looks better on your face shape. I like to use the very tiny baby bobby pins from Sally's to secure these behind, because these are small braids and a really heavy bobby pin, as you regularly have, might be seen. So what I do first is pin these into place so I make sure I have enough braid for what I want to do and then arrange them in the front so that they're even. If you like your hair on the sides hanging down like this, you can just leave it as is has a really fun, almost Native American feel to it. This can be used for a lot of tribal stuff. Very, very beautiful. And if you don't like your hair on the sides hanging down, I will show you an alternative here. So we're gonna make this into a half updo and just sweep up the hair on either side. We're gonna let those two braids down and we're gonna just tie everything together, just like that. And now, just take a strand of hair from the ponytail we've made and we're gonna wrap it around to hide our elastic. And that'll finish this off just beautifully. And if you have long hair, it might be a little bit of a juggling act. Once you get to the end, just pin it into place. If you like the hairstyle that I'm wearing, I'll put a link for that as well. So here is the finished product with it all the way up. And now you can see both and decide which one you would like to try, or you can try both. Let me know in the comments below how you like this, and thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe, hit the bell. You can also find me on Instagram and Facebook.